Okay. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This was a verse from the Bible that Ryan Tushare lived by. Ryan died at the age of 20 this past weekend from leukemia. He was a standout athlete at a Rio Grande high school. During his last season of baseball, he felt a lump in his thigh. Being a close family friend of ours, he went to see my father, a local orthopedic surgeon. He was then sent to UCLA because he knew it was something much worse. He was diagnosed with stage one Ewing sarcoma and underwent several rounds of chemotherapy. He was eventually cancer free, but not long, not long after he was diagnosed with leukemia. Ryan needed a bone marrow transplant and his brother ended up being a perfect match. He underwent the surgery in January, but with complications, he lost his battle with cancer. Although I didn't know Ryan as well as others, he had a huge impact on my life and every person he talked to. His will to continue to love life not only impacted, impacted me, but also the community and professional athletes. Here's a video that was posted on his Facebook page, hashtag 17 strong. This stuck with me and everyone in the community, showing his strength and positivity. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute to sit right there and tell you how you came to start with placing your belly. Hey, West Maria, born and raised on the ball fields where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some squirrels when out of school. But a couple of dogs who were all real good came walking in and said, You don't look good. I got one little fever, my neck got scared. It says, Moving with your pants way upstairs. This was for a doctor when he came near. He said, Here is a match, have no fear. The main thing I said, This match is rare, but I thought not forget it. I can't wait for hair. I brought up my couch around seven or eight and yelled to the doctor. Your hold is funny like a look to my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my job as a king with no hair. I see a lot of you smiling like he was in the video. That's the effect he had on every person's life. Ryan's story will never be forgotten. If people continue to look at his story for motivation that you can remain happy even in the hardest times. Although he has passed, his legacy will remain on and will forever be in the hearts of the Central Coast community. Thank you, Ryan, for touching me and now my classmates here at Cal Poly.